Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 1v1 today. We are on Feynmanville. Fame today spawning on the right, we've got Fury G with US forces. He's got advanced infantry, armored, and airborne. On the left is Zulu with Wehrmacht, who straight away locked in to break through. Uh, this match, I believe, was from, from Daniel D's King of the Hill tournament. So they're playing on like a like a modded version of this map, which allows for like live observing on one player's side. So they're trying to get some kind of like tournaments going. So check out Daniel D's Twitch if you want to get uh, get involved, see some of this action live. But yeah, in terms of rankings, uh, maybe I didn't mention that yet, but Fiji rank 1, Zulu rank 4. But yeah, not a lad match, this one. Get a couple of sandbags coming in for Zulu. We go anywhere we are needed. Very early onto the recon mode with the kit. That's interesting. This territory is ours. Pioneers have secured the location. No contact. Green, green for Zulu. No machine gun early on. I think this is a very good map for machine guns. Okay. See Fair G try to draw these guys back so that the riflemen have time to get here. So who's committing though? Trying to avoid the riflemen, trying to hide, do a bit more damage onto the scout. And then getting out of there. He's bought time for his grandies to come up, but it's not that good. It's tough to push into this area with that heavy cover still being relevant. Maybe if he managed to like wire this off or something, but obviously didn't have a chance to. It's too early in the match for that yet. He's going to go do some capping still with the kitten. Greedy's being used next to each other here. They've got to be careful because obviously they have a bit of a tough matchup against the Rifleman early on. A lot of probing for opportunities. These guys do have a pretty good angle on most of these models. Here they come now, charging in. Oh, MP40's popped. That's why he's feeling confident. Usually that will be a bad move, but with the MP40s coming online, Rifleman have to get out of there. And they jam the decap on the cutoff there. MP's getting involved now. Engineers building up some sandbags. We found the fucking enemy. See a Fair G going for three rifles and an engineer. Territory sector lost. Some players just go four rifles. It's an important like point of difference. Allows them, you know, maybe some mines, maybe some wire, maybe some sandbags. I feel like it flows pretty well at the moment as well. After the uh, 20 manpower discount on the, on the engineers. Feels a lot better than it used to. Sandbag wall is built. Go, go! Aim your rifle and fire! And she packs up, sits back up again. Doesn't manage to fire at all. Good job here at the moment. Playing evasively. Second machine gun for Zulu, actually. This one shuts down the rifle flank. Did go for a flame, but doesn't look like he's had a chance to use it yet. Fury. So that's where he spent his first dose of munitions. And upon seeing two machine guns, he's going to go for a mortar to try and counter. Makes sense. Pretty hard to move on this map. If you're up against two machine guns and you don't have indirect fire or a light vehicle. Zulu has gone for Panzer Media Company. He's going for a 251. Don't see that too often. 40s on the second green now as well. Scott Reifman trying to get into a heavy cover position. 
There's not a lot he can do here. I'm surprised he's still trying to send more units up to here, but mortar coming in. Jumps out. Look at that timing as well, like. Captain reposition so cleanly yet. He's hanging in. Here comes the 251 now though for Zulu. Oh, the smoke out though on the MG. That's actually really, really good for Fiji. I was a little surprised he retreated there. I thought with the 251 coming in he could have held here. But okay, he's upgraded to the Stummel. It's a great hit on the mortar forcing that away. Is branching out to this side though with a lot of units right now. Again, some territory, but meanwhile, a cutoff move. Lots of mine here as well. The enemy have taken our territory. Is that sh the Stummel smoke? Info coming in now with some attack grounds. Down to decap on the fuel. We have lost the sector. Has to retreat. Too risky with the stumble there. Infantry can initiate breakthrough tactics to recapture ground. We await command. Decap on the fuel. He's staying in there though. Gotta make sure he's sharp on his retreat. I wonder if that's like a a mod on this map to highlight mines more effectively. Interesting. Sector now under enemy control. And he drops one model there. Victory point lost. Oh, you can see it's still got the bridges showing. Breakthrough tactics activated. Territory capture is prioritized. Remember that back in the old days before there's a proper replay mode. Kitten capping on the far edge. Pop the uh, breakthrough the here as well. He's recapping this territory really quickly. Here comes the Greyhound. The AT gun's in the boom for Zulu, but it's not here yet. It's a mine, though. I'm just going to try to fight back a little bit, maybe. He had V1, he could probably even kill the Greyhound here, but. Doesn't feel confident. Notice that the engineers are here. Okay, you're capping. I thought maybe he's going to go for the decap and then retreat for the repairs, but no. Besides, he wants to get the repairs going earlier. Breakthrough timing out there. Rifemen have been getting bullied, though, by the MP40s up until this stage. Uh, this is maybe the opportunity for Ferriji to go for bars next. Now that he's finally got his Greyhound out. Going for an AT gun in the meantime, though. Panzer Grenadier Squad standing by. Assault infantry. Panzer P Greens coming up for Zulu. With, you know, MP40 Greens and the P Greens, as well as two machine guns, he can handle the rifle quite effectively. Goes the captain. I'll kill those bastards myself. Better kill supplies for us. Hand them out. Okay, some smoke shenanigans going on over here. We're actually getting a decent hit on. Using the greedy healing here to heal up. Nice and efficient. Greyhound's healthy again, he's given the skirts upgrade. Right 
Oof, great hit on the greens. Victory point is under enemy control. Get away though, quick reactions from Zoom. Ability ready for you, Commando. T trying to do some attack rounds here. Missing, uh, no. but decent attempts. Couldn't attack ground through this area in, uh, in the Code 2 theory, variant on the map. The enemy has taken a victory point. And the bars are popped now for Fergie. He's deciding to go for a no, fourth rifle, he cancels that. Dangerous for Fiji Scout. Late retreat. Greyhound comes in. Just like so. Cut and run. Doesn't want to take the risk. Not worth trading a Scout for a P Green. Okay, he's activated Breakthrough again. Looks like it doesn't work on team weapons capping though. So it's some good news, I suppose, for Fiji. Well, is that bit one now? So it does give the Greyhound a little bit more to think about. T gas shot or whatever it does. You're good against the Greyhound. Greyhound has been quite limited between hitting that mine and then uh, being out for repairs. Being used very conservatively for Fiji's bit one on it yet. Here's the uh, fourth rifle, smokes out the machine gun. The flamethrower there, Fergie holds in the middle. Goes around the side of the suppression. I don't know if we've seen grenades from Fergie yet. Stop streaking about to pop out. You wouldn't want to take the risk though, if your opponent doesn't have it. And they're doing pretty well, Pegrins are quite clumped. Some really good damage with that flame up. Okay, a far harass on the far side. <laughs> Confusion there. Some dropping. <laughs> this is not a bad position. Almost bang even on VPs at this stage. Center. Pretty similar KD as well. Ooh. Grenade assault and the mine, as well as the machine gun, punishes him for coming all the way out there to cap that fuel. Is that the first wipe of the game? I think it might be. Sprinting past here. It's the T gun, but doesn't have enough momentum to stay in. And the Stoss with some nice heavy cover. Right from sprinting forwards. The T gun there to zone the Stummel, but the Stummel is still in a relevant position. Just out of range of the AT gun. Still, the Rifeman end up winning, forcing the Stoss back. Mortar nicely, the AT gun there, but it's under pressure, he's having to back it up. The ability is ready. Back up, AT gun connecting on the Greyhound. Takes engine damage, the AT gun hasn't pushed up though from Zulu. Most of the Vet 1, but he's healthy enough to survive it. The AT gun's there. It's away. He's sprinting in. Is that what the captain sprint? Maybe it's just the rifle sprint. MG goes down though to the air burst rounds. And now stolen by Ferigi. Huge steal there. Just 
slight mistake for Zulu. I think if he just A moved that AT gun forwards even, he probably could have killed the Greyhound. Oh, Kitten goes down on the far side. Is that, is that there? There it is, it's gone. So a couple of losses here for Zulu now. In a bit of a tough spot, you can see Fuji. Team population up. He does have base healing though. I thought maybe he'd go for like a mid bunker. The base healing, I think, you know, the mid bunker can help you keep pace with your US players, infantry, casualty clearing of their mid tent. Helps in the long game. Got a P4 popping up for Zulu now, though. He's not going straight for like a tiger stool or anything like that. Pop right through again to try and uh, steal away a lot of the map again. Maybe Zulu likes the Stamo on this map, can fire through all these sight blockers. Let's see, gun in a compromised position. He's very slow getting it out of here. Stumble and P4 coming up. The T gun Fergie trying to assist, but it's a little bit too far away. Make sure his rifles retreat is safe, though. Breakthrough, look at how fast he's capping with that. Huge for the map control. Second AT gun for Fergie. We have a look at his uh, upgrades. So he's got advanced logistics and uh, munition surplus. Doesn't have survival training yet. T gun position here. There's a couple of shots on P4. He treats with that. I guess he doesn't feel confident with this having forced away by the T gun with the Greyhound nearby. I don't know if I've noticed uh, too many barrages from the Stumble so far. It feels like a lot of them are just like attack rounds. Air burst now. Big damage on the MG gets it out of there though. Even after the nerfs, the air burst still pretty solid on that US mortar. Did it get nerfed? Maybe I'm mixing it up with the. Uh... Timed fuse. So the air burst might have got nerfed as well though. Breakthrough active again. Commander, we've lost the sector. Good for the map control. He's managed to keep his scout alive though, Fiergi, so it's also a very handy tool in his arsenal. A victory point is under enemy good team now. weapon camp set up now, but Zulu, having gone for Panzer Media Company, could get a Neva Werfer without too much trouble. Not too much expense. Might be stalling up. No, he's gone for the P4 command tank, actually. So maybe not going to be a tiger stall, so maybe he will go for the Nebel. Okay, nice wave here. Oof, on the pizza. Bad scatter, though, unfortunate for Zulu. It's a good idea. Most of the grenades scattering wrong. Do have to contend with sometimes units being a little bit invulnerable, right as they're in the doorway as well. Okay, smoke into the middle from Zulu. And come into this cap with Stoss. Maybe could have been doing some healing here if it's on cooldown. Off cooldown, rather. Very 
fast retreat strategy. You use flanks. Gets out of there really quick. And look at that Zulu acting breakthrough again. Maybe why Fergie felt the need for the fourth rifle, otherwise he wouldn't be able to keep up in map control with this much breakthrough captain pressure. Stu hasn't selected his uh, battle group unless this is broken, by the way. Got a mortar pit as well, Fiji. Double mortars going to be helpful for his mid control. Want to make sure you've got a couple mines there. I'm not sure. I imagine that's Fiji's mine. A couple mines can be really handy. Keeping that safe. We've lost control of a sector. Scouts flares going on. Sees the land, land, sees the position of the AT gun is probably the most important thing. So this Greyhound's going to switch sides, get away from that. Second P4 for Zulu now. Interesting to see if he tries to go for like another tank or if he tries to go for skirts next. You've seen the uh, on field healing here very effectively. They're double bars on the rifleman, but they're maybe a little bit down on health and down on vet. P4 as well. Getting tough for Ferragi to stall now under the pressure of two tanks and the Stummel. Tough for his AT guns to be everywhere at once. It's the mine there, otherwise maybe he could have got a Faust off. He's making a play though, he's got the double stoss. Maybe hoping to kill off this mortar pit. God damn it, a captain's been killed. Captain getting wiped. Rifleman up in the north as well in a bit of trouble. A fuel point is being seized by the enemy. Defend our victory point. We're losing it. Low. Stoss coming in, catching the units on retreat. I think the stoss could probably kill this, right? The LMGs, I think they actually do decent damage to emplacements. Could be wrong about that. Tank Depot into EZ-8 now for Fergie. Second AT gun on the build for Zulu after that. Stocks popping the hit one there. Oh, Greyhound in some trouble. Nice move from Zulu. Bold stuff there. Oh, he's activated Blitzkrieg. He's moving quickly. Slicing past these AT guns. This AT gun up at a good position as well. Got a shot on the Easy 8 deterring it from chasing. A lot of repairs required for Zulu now though. He's only got one Pyo at this stage. That was a nice kill on the Greyhound. It's going to help his edge control massively. Still got that mortar pit alive as well. Second engineer for Fiorigy now. Bombing runs unlocked. Three hundred points remaining for the Germans. Covering the fuel and the VP there with that machine gun, the stolen one. It's a scout flare out the back. Those flares are tough, man. You see them, you know you're in for some trouble. The Stummel gets away. Hey, you're gonna have to pack up anyway. Still repairs 
this required to a Zulu. Get one engineer working overtime. Nice attack rounds from the Easy 8 though. Holds onto the central VP. Still bang even on VPs just about. Super close match. So he was high in population, but it doesn't really feel like he's got that much of a lead. Maybe it's because of extra firepower from the mortar pit. And because Fergie's invested so much into a you know, like side tech. He's got that inevitability. Just all the cheaper reinforcements in there. The rest. Fury. Zulu is saving up for another P4. Hasn't got the skirts yet. Smokes out the middle. Trying to get some mines up. Good idea from Fergie. Especially because Zulu, yeah, hits a mine there. Zulu, you know, has, having to repair everything with one engineer and do sweeping, it's just too much for that one engineer, that one pioneer, to handle. That actually means that he can't go for a third tank. He's gone for the skirts now. He's pop that, pop that Zulu. He's gone for the uh, vet boost as well. Everything's VET 1 from that already, but it does give you, I think, 25% faster VET gain as well, so it's not a waste. And if he has to rebuild, it's kind of handy. Okay, no we're working alright for the rifle at this stage. See if Zulu kind of getting stuck in the middle at the moment, though. Fergie able to play on the edges. Pretty good use of smoke as well from both players throughout this match. Oh, that's some trouble. Oh, a T gun getting chased down. Good air burst. The P4 is coming, trying to guard it. Gets decrewed. And that's the moment, Fergie looking to pounce, trying to knock this out. Another AT gun, not in a very relevant position here. Maybe getting blocked by the hedge. Stoss are lucky to survive, maintaining vision of this area. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame Zulu didn't get that pack into a, a good spot. Could maybe have got some free hits on the EZ-8 and forced it away. Top of the map covered like this. Right? <laughs> Some overla overlays are not the best. Oh, that's the second easy eight now for Fergie. So you've got the, uh, yeah, got the war machine. Some big armies now, Zulu though, having lost that pack. He was at 95, now he's dropped down. He's starting to bleed a lot, as I said. He never went for the mid bunker, so he doesn't have that casualty clearing. He's having trouble keeping up with Fergie. That US Force's late game manpower economy, they're just so strong there. You don't have like the Tiger to get those big one shot wipes. Very hard to keep up. Scout did die somewhere though. That must have been. Over here. Okay, sees easy eight over there, and Zulu's gonna go for it. It's a foul stop on it. Fergie's rotating with his AT gun now. Did repair up the mortar pit. Bit too slow though for Zulu getting there. T 
gun's in a good spot for Fury. Oh, easy eight though, maybe taking a bad path. Rear arm exposed, the P4's charging ahead. Locks out a P4, but the easy eight goes down and return the double ATs of such in such a good position here. The vet one though on the Stimmel. Disabling the other one from getting involved in this, but it ends up going down, spins around. Stoss charging in here, but the easy eight's there to guard it. Away with the Stoss. Now you can see Fury really taking control. Double ATs, or double rifles on top of the AT rather, and some trouble. He's got his base here, but can't out reinforce that much damage. I was looking to kill that off too. Got a second P4 hit in the field. The T guns of Fergie are uh, maybe a little bit far back here. Those guns ready. One's coming up from healing, but no, he can't quite recover it. Here come the double P4s. Easy 8's got that extra bit of health, though. That was a regular Sherman. Maybe Zulu could have got it, but. That's more like it. It's too risky to chase, and he's pretty right because here's the second AT gun now. from the side but a fresh easy eight for Fergie hits the field he's just got so much manpower now all of those upgrades kicking in very hard to keep up with the US player once they've got this kind of setup going it'll be like spamming merge is a bit of a micro burden and the easy eight's just slapping everything around He's charging him from the side. As we handled him now, they could even get wiped. There we go. Zulu throwing in the towel. Victory is ours. So yeah, there we go. High level game. Very, very even match. You know, it's it's tough, Fergie, going for those side upgrades. Obviously, that delays its tanks a bit. But if you can navigate that moment, like where the Wehrmacht player has his P4 out, if you can survive that, just gives you such a good setup for the late game. Just completely overwhelm your opponent in terms of manpower between the casualty clearing and the reinforced discount. So hard to keep up with that, especially if you don't go for the mid bunker as the Wehrmacht player. I'm a little bit surprised he didn't go for the mid bunker. He liked to spam the uh, breakthrough, which was leading to some pretty solid map control. But yeah, good job for Fergie keeping up with that because that's very hard. That's so much capping power, so much capping pressure. But really, it came down to uh, Fergie able to catch. The AT guns, maybe a little bit out of position a couple of times for Zulu. And fully exploit that, destroying them or, you know, taking really good fights while one of them was not in position. And then in return, Zulu trying to push in, thought he had the easy out in a compromised position with his rear armor showing, but both the AT guns in such a strong position. And Zulu didn't have enough munitions to maybe drop like an incendiary on one of them or anything like that. Didn't have any indirect fire himself to help deal with the support weapons of FRG. So he couldn't do much. Felt like Zulu was kind of overwhelmed with the one Pyo as well. He really needed a second one, it felt like. Slowing down his repairs a tremendous amount meant that he ran over that mine over here, which was a little bit dangerous as well without the sweeping. FRG, meanwhile, you know, able to. Go for that second one, get those mines down, keep his tanks healthy. Was uh, pretty strong. But yeah, fun to see a bit of Stummel action. 
solid control, keep it alive. It can be quite scary sometimes. Keeping the storm alive when the Greyhound hits the field. It's, uh, can be very susceptible to going down to it. But yeah, really strong uh, motor control, those air bursts giving Zulu major trouble. One of them resulting in the uh, MG steel, which was big. Felt like the Stoss as well, maybe they just didn't have enough time to scale up in terms of VET. Weren't really dominating the riflemen. Felt like they were running into the Easy 8s quite a lot as well. But yeah, uh, nice to see some high level action and good on Daniel for getting some King of the Hill action going and make sure you check out his Twitch channel if you want to see some of this action live. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.